This is a rehabilitation protocol for meniscus repair. On the day of surgery, you want to use ice or cold therapy over the leg for 15 minutes every 1 to 2 hours. Begin taking pain medication as soon as you have pain. Do not wait until you are in severe pain before starting the medication. We expect you should be able to stop taking pain medication within 2 to 3 weeks after the surgery. Begin eating with light fluids and liquids. Progress to your normal diet slowly over the following 24 hours. From day 1 until your first post-operative appointment, you want to keep the dressings on and dry to prevent infection. Usually your first post-operative appointment will be 7 to 10 days after your surgery. You can bathe or shower but keep the dressings dry. Do not swim until instructed by your surgeon. Continue to use crutches until your first post-operative visit or until instructed by your doctor. Weight bearing and crutch use can range from 4 to 8 weeks. Please consult with your doctor on the specific limitations unique to your repair. If you are to walk or are given permission to walk, keep the brace locked in extension only. You can unlock it to perform exercise when in a motion machine or sitting in a chair. Do not drive until instructed to do so. Contact a physical therapist prior to surgery to begin formal physical therapy approximately 5 to 10 days following your surgery. We will give you a prescription and list of recommended facilities prior to surgery. It is normal to experience some swelling in the knee and leg. To decrease this, keep your leg elevated above the level of your heart as much as possible. Avoid putting a pillow behind your knee as this can cause problems getting your knee straight. There are four main phases to rehabilitation. In the early postoperative phase, the goal is to control pain and swelling. You will be prescribed physical therapy while they will conduct active and passive range of motion, straight leg raises, quadriceps isometrics, and patella mobilization. Keep the brace on at all times except when bathing. Straight leg raises are demonstrated in this photograph where you lift your leg 2 feet off the ground and hold it for 10 seconds. You want to do this for 3 sets of 10 repetitions. Make sure you do this with your brace locked in full extension. Quadriceps isometrics involve tightening your thigh muscle and holding it for 5 seconds. Do a minimum of 3 sets of 10. Patella mobilizations involve moving your kneecap side to side. Move the kneecap towards the inner side of your leg for 5 seconds, then move it towards the outer side for 5 seconds. Do 3 sets of 10. Heel slides involve bending your knee backward towards your buttock, and this may be assisted by using a towel to pull your foot. Bridging exercises involve rolling a towel and putting it under your heel with nothing under your knee, pushing on your quadriceps and thigh to get your leg straight. Calf pumps are self-explanatory as demonstrated in this picture. Move the ankle up and down at least 10 times an hour to encourage blood flow and reduce the risk of a blood clot. The first phase involves range of motion to 90 degrees by week 4, healing of the repair, quadriceps control, and patella mobility. You will be able to do active and active range of motion, straight leg raises, quadriceps isometrics, patella mobilizations, hip core and ankle strengthening, various modalities, and a home exercise program will be developed for you. Braces and crutches are to be used at all times. In the second phase, the goal is normal range of motion, normal patella mobility, restoring normal gait, going upstairs with good control, and returning turning to normal activities of daily living. You will be allowed to do active assisted range of motion, leg press of from 0 to 90 degree arc, step up and step downs, lunges, squats, stairs, elliptical, a balance program, a hip core program, straight leg raises, various modalities by physical therapy, and a home exercise program. In the third phase, the goal is to descend stairs with good control, improve flexibility, and begin running at four months. You want to progress your squat program, advance your quad and hamstring program, proprioceptive training, agility exercises, elliptical, lower extremity stretching, modalities, and a home exercise program. In the fourth and final phase, the goal is to sport, return to sport-specific activity and to return to competitive activities at eight to ten months. Physical therapy will continue lower extremity strengthening flexibility, forward running as recommended by the MD, and bracing for sports as recommended by the MD. Thank you.